I have noticed consistently animals are often compassionate about caring for baby animals even if they may not look alike. Most of us seen these amazing heartwarming videos. But seriously, I really wondered if that compassion extend to human babies. After my extensive search, the answer is yes. In our unique story today proves this theory. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a real life story of Tarzan. This is not no fictional story. Buckle up and be sure to watch till the end so you can get the full story. And make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any future amazing stories and shorts. And lastly, if you appreciate this content, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to support me even more, please visit my online merchandise store where I currently dedicate 85% of all my profits towards feeding the homeless. The link to my online store is below this video. For this story, we are going to travel all the way to Uganda, East Africa. Uganda has a population of 45 million people with 85% below 18 years old. You know what that means, a lot of poor people. But nonetheless, Uganda is actually very, very beautiful. I am from Northwest Africa, Senegal, about five days away driving. But don't let the media to convince you that this country is nothing but ugly. That is absolutely not true. All countries have their pros and cons. And East Africa, Uganda is no difference. They are a work in progress. Meet Don Sabuya from Uganda, known as the boy raised by monkeys. When he was a young boy, he disappeared into the forest in order to get away from a violent home during the 1980s. His country, Uganda, was in a civil war with human rights violations. Sabuya lived with both of his parents until he was about three years old. But sadly, his mother was murdered. Shortly after, Sabuya ran into the jungle, which is a move that may have saved him from becoming a child soldier. Living life with the vervid monkeys was a challenge for John in the beginning. It is believed that John spent less than a year in the jungle. He survived by mimicking the primate's behavior as he described in his story. He tells us that the monkeys taught him how to survive in the jungle. The very first time John made contact with the vervid monkeys, he was alone in the jungle for days before they approached him offering him food like nuts and sweet potatoes. The monkeys were very cautious for two weeks until they decided Sabunya was no threat to them. They let little John join the monkeys as they travel around the jungle. They taught him how to find food and climb trees. I'm here with John and uh, he's been trying to explain to me that this used to be his home. This is the very tree he was found but it was a bit short when he could climb it. Fast forward to 1991, John Sabunya was discovered by a villager or you could say a farmer. By that time, the transformation was enormous and he adopted a whole new way of surviving. It is described that Sabunya acted more like a monkey than a human. The boy looks like a, a, a monkey. John is now a very different person since he was taken out of the jungle. But his behavior was and still influenced by the time he spent with the primate monkeys. He had a difficult time learning how to walk and also how to talk. Even smiling was a challenge, but eventually he overcame so many difficult things and he began sharing his incredible story about how he survived in the wilderness. When Sabunya was discovered living with the monkeys, it was very difficult to tell if he was a human. Not only he acted like a monkey, he had long hair that covered his face and body. This really scared the local villagers and they thought he was a monster or some type of curse or an evil spirit and they wanted to delete him. But this villager who located him was convinced that John was just a poor baby looking for love. He rescued Sabunya with the help from the local community. They shaved his body and the hair never came back. John had absolutely no language skills and the only way he communicated was by screaming and biting. It was not a very easy and simple rescue. As these people were trying to rescue little John and bring him back to regular, the monkeys were also trying to protect John from these people they didn't know. Family monkey who took on Sabunya didn't want him to go to these human rescuers. And they tried to scare them by making a lot of noises and throwing sticks and other things. Fast forward to a few years later, John competed in the Special Olympics twice. But as his life went on, he experienced mental development. But he was very athletic and as a result, he was eligible to compete in the Olympics. In 1999, he ran the marathon and in 2003, he was the captain of Uganda Special Olympics soccer team. John Sabunya is very grateful for his unusual upbringing. You might assume that he is very hunted or traumatized from his very early years of experience, but he is very grateful for everything and he doesn't look at his situation, try to point fingers or blame anybody for anything. John said that he really doesn't assume the worst from people. And for the monkeys that rescued him, John is very grateful for them for the lesson they taught him and really appreciate them for taking him on. And as John described, I quote, I am grateful, yes, because of love them from the monkeys. But because of what they did made it possible for me to love by others people by humans it is really nice that the monkey took him on my friends and family if you made it up to this point in this video i want to take this time really to thank you so much for the privilege of your time it really really means a lot make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out the next time i upload comment what you think about this video give this video a thumbs up for the youtube algorithm and as always i'll see you guys on the next story peace